Shaders, one of the coolest additions and most popular additions to Minecraft 1.19.1 is now available. This video is going to show you exactly how to get it. And as you can see on your screen now, Shaders truthfully makes Minecraft look incredible. It makes it look more realistic, adding in things like shading, making the grass and trees sway in the wind. Some shaders pack out in things like god rays and actual like rays coming off the sun, and volumetric clouds in a lot of packs really wraps it all together. You've also got reflections added to water in a lot of packs, and as you can see on the pack on your screen right now, Makeup Ultra Fast Shaders, it just looks amazing. It completely changes the vibe of Minecraft, if you will. So let's go ahead and get shaders installed. The first thing you're going to need is a shaders pack. Now, as as I just mentioned, we were using Makeup Ultra Fast Shaders in that little preview. We're going to show you how to install that pack as well as two others. This will work though for any shaders pack in Minecraft. All of them will work using this installation here. That being said, if it's like for a very old version, like 1.12 for example, there may be bugs, but overall it will still install using this method. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and download some shaders packs. This is our list in the description down below. The second link down below, we have a list of the best shaders packs for Minecraft. You can easily see them here, click around them, all of that stuff. But in this specific video, we're going to be installing the BSL shaders pack here. So BSL, I'm going to go ahead and open all of these download links in a new tab. We're also going to grab makeup ultra fast shaders, which is the one you saw in the preview. And then nostalgia shaders is pretty cool, but we're going to be grabbing vanilla plus shaders. This pack is very, very lightweight. And I wanted to feature it because it's honestly a way that you can actually add some shaders and get decent FPS. The highest FPS pack on the list though is yo FPS shaders. If you're interested. Nevertheless though, once you've opened up your shaders packs, we can download them. Everyone's going to be a bit different, but for BSL, BSL shaders. Once you're here, click BSL shaders and then click on the download link in the right hand side. Then scroll down and click the download button here for the download to begin after a few seconds. Well, that's downloading. How about some our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting? Go to the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love just Apex so much that we host all of our Minecraft servers on Apex Minecraft Hosting. And if you want to start a server with Apex, you can add mods, you can add mod packs, and you can add plugins very, very easily. They've got 24 hour, seven day a week support. And should you want to add any mod packs over 200 mod packs have one click installation at apex so again you can check out apex the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to start your very own server thanks to them for sponsoring this video nevertheless bsl has now downloaded in the bottom left of chrome you may need to keep this file on chrome or save it in the server screen on firefox we can go ahead and repeat this process for makeup ultra fast except you want to come over here to the right hand side because this is on curse forge and scroll down to the 1.19 section then you want to click on the orange download button next to the 1.19 version of makeup ultra fast shaders and it will also begin downloading after a few seconds in the bottom left of Chrome. You may need to save it on Firefox. Last but not least, Vanilla Plus Shaders is also on CurseForge here, and the process is the same. Come to the right-hand side and scroll down. You will notice that this is the 1.18 version. 1.18 versions of Shaders packs work basically without any issues in Minecraft 1.19, so we can just download the 1.18 version we're not going to have a problem whatsoever. So it's going to go ahead and download after a few seconds. Now, Optifine is what's used to run shaders packs, right? You install Optifine and then you install shaders with Optifine and that allows them to work in Minecraft. So you can see a shaders screenshot in the back. I believe this is Makeup Ultra Fast Shaders. You can see the shading coming off of this. You can see the volumetric clouds. Beautiful stuff. So let's go ahead and get Optifine. What you want to do is go to the third link in the description down below. That's going to take you here. This is our complete guide for getting Optifine. We're going to be going over the basics in this video, but should you have any issues or anything like that, that's where this tutorial comes in. You can see all the different issues that can be fixed with this tutorial here. Absolutely incredible. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on the yellow download Optifine button to be taken to Optifine. Optifine's official download page. At the time I'm recording this video, Optifine's still in preview, in beta. So that's why you don't have a version under Minecraft 1.19.1. However, if there is a version there, go ahead and proceed with that version. Otherwise, click preview versions and boom, there is our version of Minecraft 1.19.1 Optifine. Once you have a version here, come over to the right hand side and click this mirror link. The reason we're clicking mirror is it bypasses a few ads. But nevertheless, here we are on Optifine 1.19.1's official download page. Come under that and click the blue download button and Optifine will automatically begin in the bottom left. Most likely on Google Chrome, you'll need to keep it in the bottom left. You may need to save it in the center of your screen on Firefox. Either way, it's 100% safe to do so as long as Optifine is in the title and ours is, as you can see. Now let's go ahead and minimize our browser here and let's move all of these files to our desktop. To do that, click the little Windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. And yes, this tutorial is fully working on Windows 11. Once you click that little Windows icon, type in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder here. Open that up, and in the Downloads folder, you'll have Optifine and any shaders packs that you want to install. Drag and drop those to your desktop for ease of use. They won't be here long. 
Nevertheless, we can see we've got Vanilla Plus Shaders, Makeup Ultra Fast Shaders, BSL Shaders, and of course, Optifine. To get started, we're going to be starting with Optifine. So let's go ahead and right-click on Optifine, click Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java, or I do have Java, but the Java logo over here is not there. Well, in both cases, you need Java 17. Java 17 is required in order to run Minecraft mods, and obviously Shaders is a Minecraft mod for 1.19.1, so you need Java 17. Good news is, we have a complete guide linked in the description that goes over everything you'd ever need to know to get Java set up for Minecraft. Once you've got that, you should be able to install Optifine, but if you're still having issues, you need to run the jar fix. The jar fix is going to take all the jar files from your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. That's also what's going to be fixing that icon issue, right? If your icons don't look like this, running the jar fix after downloading Java will fix that. But nevertheless, we can install Optifine now, so let's right click on it, click on open with, click Java, and then click OK. That's going to open up the Optifine installer here, where as you can see, Optifine for 1.19.1. Just click Install on this, and it will go ahead and install Optifine. If you do have an issue in this section here, there's two reasons that, that could happen. One, you have Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher open. If that's the case, close back out of those, also close out of Optifine here, and open it back up from the installer here on our desktop. However, you may also need to play Minecraft 1.19.1 if you've never played it before. You've got to have played Minecraft 1.19.1 with no mods, just vanilla Minecraft for Optifine to work. If you've never done that, go play it, close out of Minecraft, and then you'll be good to go. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click OK here. It will close out of the Optifine installer because we're successful. We can now delete the Optifine file from our desktop. Next up, we need to open up Minecraft with Optifine in order to install shaders. So let's open up the Minecraft launcher here, and by default, I have down here in the bottom left the Optifine installation, right? It's there. I can just click Optifine, click play, click play again. But if you don't have Optifine here, what do you do? Well, first click this arrow, see if it's in this list. If it is, and it says 1.19.1 Optifine, click it, click play, click play again, and skip forward in the tutorial a little bit. But if you don't have that there, click on the installations. Then make sure modded is checked. As you can see, we uncheck modded, it's gone. Optifine's not there. Check modded, there's Optifine, it's the correct version. Play and play again. But if you still don't have Optifine here, or you don't have the 1.19.1 version of Optifine, click new installation. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it Optifine 1.19.1. And then the most important part is coming to this version drop down box here, selecting it, and then selecting release 1.19.1 Optifine from this list. So right there it is. If this isn't at the top of the list, by the way, scroll down a ways. That's perfectly normal and you might need to scroll down to find it, but mine was right up here towards the top. I'm then going to change my resolution. You don't have to, but once we get in game, making a tutorial, it's much easier for you to see if we're at this resolution, so that's why I've changed it. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click the green create button in the bottom right, and now we have this new Optifine 1.19.1 profile with 1.19.1 Optifine under it click play, click play again, and now we can install shaders. Honestly, that's the hardest part, is downloading and installing Optifine. It's super easy to install shaders once Optifine is open in Minecraft. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. If we click Options, Video Settings, Shaders, we can install shaders here. That was relatively fast, so let's do that one more time. From the Minecraft main menu, click Options, Video Settings, and then Shaders. On the Shaders tab here, all you want to do is click on Shaders folder in the bottom left. So from the Shaders tab, click Shaders folder in the bottom left. It will open your Shaders Packs folder. And then all you need to do is drag and drop any Shaders Packs you want to install into this folder. Doesn't matter what kind of Shaders Pack it is. Just drag and drop it into this folder and it will install it in Minecraft. So if we close out of this and come back to Minecraft, we can see here they all are. BSL, Makeup Ultra Fast, and Vanilla Plus Shaders are all installed. I just clicked on BSL to activate it. It is also worth noting that on the right-hand side, there are a ton of different settings that you can change here, including increasing things like anti-aliasing to increase the look and feel of Minecraft. But most importantly, in the bottom right, you have shaders options. You can set different profiles. What kind of performance do you want in game? You can set it here very quickly and easily. I'm going to leave this default by net for now, but we're going to play around with the vanilla plus settings a bit. But let's go ahead and jump into our single player world here and we'll be able to see that shaders are active. Minecraft is going to look beautiful with BSL shaders. It's one of the best packs out there. It's relatively bright and honestly just a very, very solid pack. As you can see, super bright. We've got the sun there. I don't think there's really god rays from the sun, but it still looks great. We've got volumetric clouds and where it's sunset, the shadows are just beautiful. We've also got this uh, grass swaying in the wind. It's looking good. We do time set day here. Be able to get the uh, more of daytime, middle of the day look, and uh, just looking good as well. So that's BSL shaders. You can actually change shaders packs right in game. So if we go ahead and hit escape, options, video settings, shaders, 
there is Makeup Ultra Fast Shaders. We select that, go into Shaders Options, you've got your different profiles here, right, that you can set. Tons of different stuff. I mean, this one has so many. It's one of the things that I love about uh, Makeup Ultra Fast Shaders is there's so many options. But you can see, same shaders pack, same time of day, but a very different look, a little bit darker. Makeup Ultra Fast is. However, Makeup Ultra Fast also does give a higher FPS. We're reaching over 200 FPS right now with shaders installed. Absolutely insane. Last but not least, let's talk about Vanilla Plus shaders. This is a super, super, super lightweight pack, especially when we go into shaders options here and change the profile from default to fast. Now if we go ahead and click done, it's going to reload Minecraft, click done again, and look at what we have here. Super simple, beautiful shaders with uh, some, some swaying of the grass, very good default Minecraft look with super stable FPS. The difference between Vanilla Plus shaders and Makeup Ultra Fast is Makeup Ultra Fast was getting me good FPS, even better than this one, but it wasn't as stable as Vanilla Plus shaders, and stable FPS is in a way more important than max FPS. Something else worth noting here is that trees do sway in the wind, but not that aggressively with this pack. That's part of that performance savings. But nevertheless, that's how you can add shaders to Minecraft 1.19.1. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And be sure to subscribe for more videos on Optifine, on Minecraft, Minecraft mods, Minecraft servers. We cover it all here, and we hope to see you in another video. I'm out. Peace.